Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Empath Oasis. If you are coming back or a new subscriber, been liking and commenting on my videos, thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. For this pick a card video, we'll be doing it on the topic of how do they feel now that you've cut them off. Before we get into numbering off your options, if you are new to tarot readings or new to my channel in general, I put a black screen in my intro with some information on it to help you guys increase the probability of choosing an accurate reading. If you would like more information on me as a reader or how to book a reading with me, just check out my bio. But let's jump into this. These are your three options for this reading. We have for group one, three of inspirations, group two, ace of inspiration, and group three, five of material. So take a deep breath, guys. When you feel ready, make your selection. If you need more time, you can just pause the video. Timestamps are available in the caption. Okay, group one, if you chose this image, three of inspiration, this is your reading for how do they feel now that you've cut them off. So let's first take a look at characteristics of this person. I pulled the devil reverse, strength reverse, and the magician reverse. So I feel like this person struggles a lot with guilt and shame. I feel like they often have issues around their sexuality or intimacy and can project their insecurities onto others. For example, this person can shame you for your body or if they feel like you're being too provocative, they might like say something to you about the way you dress or they can even like shame you about, you know, if you're not a feminine and they're not trying to shame you for being too provocative in the way you dress. Maybe if you're masculine, um, they'll criticize you for the way you look. But all this rude behavior from them is really like a projection from a past trauma that they experience around their own sexuality. Uh, for a lot of you, this person is actually hiding this past trauma and you have no idea that they went through this. Uh, this person really struggles with anger and jealousy and feels very insecure and has uh, very low self-esteem. This person can come off sometimes like very timid especially when they are confronted um they may lack like a backbone like there are a lot of bark and no bite um i feel like this person is really afraid of standing out and being different uh, i feel like this person can be depressed and out of touch with themselves and even really withdrawn this person may even come off as though they've lost their hunger for life. Um, they just like lack passion and motivation. Uh, I don't feel like this person believes in themselves or they're constantly like manipulating situations because they don't think they can uh, have something without manipulating. I feel like these people are very critical of themselves and of others. Um, And I feel like these people usually only come around when they want something from you. Like it's not ever really about a genuine, uh, real desire to wanna hang out and have like an equal exchange. So possible signs of this person for their sun, moon and rising. This is a dominant energy, but it does not have to be their signs, okay guys? So I got Virgo, Gemini, Taurus, or Libra for this person's possible sun, moon, and rising sign. So let's take a look now at why you guys cut them off. I pulled Judgment Reverse and the Hermit Reverse. So I feel like this relationship for you guys just became a huge burden for you. Um, I feel like this person continued to repeat behaviors that was harmful to this connection even if you guys asked them to stop or brought it to their attention and they just wouldn't. Um, I feel like this person was very controlling of you guys and was often trying to suppress your potential. Um, I feel like you begin to realize that this person was just not someone that you can trust. I also feel like this person just operated on such a negative, like, 
vibration you guys just got sick of being around them um, and around this energy I feel like this person just stays stuck in situations um, not really trying to overcome their obstacles and they just constantly like complaining about like what they're going through and I feel like this type of behavior really just ended up pushing you guys away I feel like this person may have like for some of you this person may have also like pressured you guys into some type of situation that you now regret uh, and you feel like you got dragged into their foolishness and like their poor judgment and poor decisions and it's now negatively impacting your life um, I feel like this person has a really hard time respecting your boundaries and like I said just like repeatedly cross them uh, this person was very judgmental of others uh, and other people's bodies and I just feel like this person probably may have even like like I said earlier body shamed you and you're just sick of this kind of like dynamic so that's why you guys cut them off so how is this person feeling now that you uh, cut them off okay so I pulled the six of cups reverse the four of pentacles the world reverse clarified by I hope that you can forgive me one day I'm starting to understand our connection I look for you everywhere and sometimes I stay awake thinking about you so I feel like this person is feeling very haunted by like your relationship and how it ended uh, and they're really hoping that you can forgive them one day this person I feel like they didn't initially understand the impact of how their behavior was affecting you but now since you've cut them off it's been like a wake-up call and they're starting to understand now how their negativity has like ruined their own relationships. Uh, I feel like this person has a habit of clinging to the past that they share with you. They often replay memories and just like reinflict the pain of losing you. I feel like when this person looks back at this connection, they feel like they were just so naive and so immature in regards to the way they treated you. I feel like this person is having a really hard time letting you go. Like they just do not want to let this connection go. Um, I feel like this person may actually stalk you guys on your social media and they really get in their feelings and they feel jealous or angry because they feel like you guys moved on and they haven't. I feel like this person feels really isolated and alone right now that you're like not in their life. And I, uh, and when you guys like left this person, it triggered a whole lot of abandonment issues that this person had, which is like the reason why they were probably so controlling in this connection with you. I feel like the situation between the two of you, like the universe was trying to trigger like healing within this person, but they're kind of stuck in this state currently of avoiding their healing and staying stuck in their toxic patterns okay guys in group one i hope that this resonates with you thank you so much for watching i'm now going to move on to group two okay group two if you chose this image this is your reading for how is your person feeling now that you cut them off okay so let's first take a look at characteristics of this person Okay, group two, characteristics of your person. I feel like this person, they tend to lie and manipulate in order to get themselves out of trouble. This person can actually be in trouble with the law. Uh, this person does not take responsibility for their life and is constantly like involved in, involved with people or connections that are harming them. This person has a lot of bad habits and poor lifestyle choices. Um, you may have felt like stabbed in the back by this person or that they constantly act like they're a victim. Uh, this person does not, this person doesn't like to feel dependent on others and they can have like a habit of ending relationships suddenly and in painful ways. Uh, this person just really struggles with being happy. Um, 
they can come off being very cold and distant and this person has a lot of secrets or a past that's like poisoning them and causing them to self-sabotage in their present these people rarely listen to advice and really struggle with jealousy uh, this person may actually need professional help but they refuse to even consider it or they won't even consider it with this seven of cups i feel like this person really struggles with depression and they often find themselves in conflicts with others because they're just unable to see or deal with the truth about a situation so possible signs of this person for their sun moon and rising uh, but it does not have to be this is just a dominant energy i got scorpio capricorn or virgo for this group this is just a dominant energy, guys. This does not have to be their sign, but possible sun, moon, and rising. So let's look at why you guys cut them off. I pulled seven of swords and ten of cups reverse. So I feel like this person may have lied to you guys about something or forgot they lied about something and accidentally told on themselves. Um, or, you, or you could have caught them in a lie. I feel like this person had very parasitic energy. Uh, these people were definitely like energy vampires. Uh, if you don't know what that means, that means, you know, when you were around them, you really felt depleted by their like energy. You felt like dragged down or exhausted when they would leave. I feel like this person does not respect other people's like boundaries. And I feel like this person was like, they were hiding or pretending like to be something and I feel like that was exposed to you and this is why this is a, and this is why you guys cut them off um, if this was a romantic situation I feel like this person could have cheated on you and you found out uh, or this person could have had a whole other family on the side if that's not the case I feel like you found out that this person's connection to you involved a whole like hidden agenda and it got exposed or this person was just withholding some truth and manipulate and control the situation between the two of you and you found out so that's why you cut them off um let's see how they're feeling now that you cut them off so how they're feeling now that you cut them off i got the page of wands reverse queen of cups reverse knight of cups reverse i clarified by i know i messed everything up we will be together again you were the best thing in my life and i want you okay so i feel like this person is just very angry with themselves uh, for their slip up or for even lying to you in the first place i feel like this person is currently just really struggling with depression over losing you uh this person completely takes responsibility for this situation like they know that they are wrong they know that this was their fault and they feel terrible about it. I feel like this person doesn't want to let you go. And I feel like this person is actually planning on trying to make this situation right between the two of you guys. Uh, so you can um, reconnect into each other's lives again. I feel like this person is in that energy of like, you don't know what you have until it's gone. And now that you're gone, they... They really feel like you were the best thing in their life and they really regret ruining this connection between the two of you. Uh, this person does not plan on going anywhere. They, they're going to keep on trying to fix this and they're, they're planning on coming back with a solution to this or whatever is going on between the two of you and just trying to heal this situation. Uh, I do not see them giving up on this connection. I feel like this person regrets not being straightforward and honest with you guys from the beginning. And because of that, they're very emotionally overwhelmed and upset at the moment. Okay, guys, in group two, I hope this resonates with you. Thanks for watching. I'm now going to move on to group three. Okay, group three, if you chose this image, five of materials, this is your reading for how they are feeling towards you now that you cut them off let's take a look at your person's characteristics okay so your person's characteristics i pulled ten of wands ace of pentacles and the star reverse 
So I feel like this person is really burdened by their work or their responsibilities. Um, and I feel like this person is like really afraid of others' opinions and they just try their best not to stand out so that no one can target them. I feel like this person tends to like twist situations or words around to make it sound like they're a victim. Uh, and I feel like they like trap themselves in their own fears of failure and they often like run from opportunities that could take them pretty far in life. I feel like these people are just really unwilling to grow and are instead like going in so many directions that they're really just going nowhere. I feel like they usually stay in a state of like being overwhelmed. Uh, deep down they like struggle with feeling hopeless. They have a really hard time just creating a foundation for themselves and money is just always slipping through their fingers or they're always like short on cash. Uh, this person struggles with commitment in both their career and their relationships and they're very unhappy and insecure. Uh, this person is consumed by like their own negativity and they have this energy of just being very hopeless about their future. Um, this person can be very inflexible and is probably very bitter as well. So possible signs of this person for their sun, moon, and rising. This is a dominant energy, but it does not have to be their sign, okay? For this group, I got Pisces, Cancer, and Taurus, okay? For a possible sun, moon, and rising. So let's take a look at why you guys cut them off. So I pulled the Chariot and Eight of Pentacles Reverse. So for those in this group, I feel like you guys are actually very proactive about chasing your goals and your dreams. And I feel like because this person is kind of stuck in this hopelessness and negative mindset, they became like really resentful towards you for that. And I feel like they started projecting their own insecurities onto you and just their own negativity. Uh, I feel like this behavior was just making the dynamic between the two of you very volatile and like arguments would happen between the two of you often just over nothing. Um, I feel like this person's resentment towards you caused uh, them to refuse like anything when it came to your point of view or your input. And like the hatred that they had for their life, they really projected that onto you guys. So you just got sick of this and ended up removing yourself from their life. Um, so let's see now how is this person feeling now that you cut them off. So I pulled the Temperance. King of Wands reverse and Ten of Pentacles reverse clarified by it's time for me to heal now. I wish things could be different and I can't stop thinking about you. So I feel like the fact that you guys cut them off, it really triggered in them a realization how much healing that they need to do. I feel like this person is recognizing how nasty they were towards you and they they really regret their behavior. Um, they really regret that this caused you guys to no longer be in contact. <clears throat> I feel like this person may be really angry with themselves right now for their behavior or just struggling with their anger in general because they feel a lack of success in their own life. Uh, I feel like you guys may have been so close to this person that you considered them family or they could have been family. Uh, and now that you're no longer in their life, they just can't stop thinking about you and they're just feeling this huge loss. Okay, guys, in group three, I hope that this reading resonates with you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.